Hey peeps, today we'll talk about the deadliest plagues in human history. From the Black Death to the Spanish flu and COVID-19, we'll discover how these pandemics have left their mark. The Plague of Athens The Plague of Athens, a historical mystery from ancient Greece during the Peloponnesian War, 430 to 426 BCE, lacks specific medical details. It emerged in 430 BCE during the second year of the war between Athens and its Delian League allies versus Sparta and the Peloponnesian League. Thucydides provided a detailed description of the symptoms. The initial signs included high fever, headaches, redness, an inflammation of the eyes, sore throat, and a violent cough. Patients experienced intense thirst leading to dehydration and many developed skin lesions. Thucydides noted that those who survived the initial stages were often left with long-term physical consequences. The plague had a devastating impact on Athens, contributing to a decline in its military strength and overall population. The crowded and unsanitary conditions within the city exacerbated the spread of the disease. Pericles, the prominent Athenian statesman, also succumbed to the plagues. The specific cause of the plague of Athens remains uncertain, Given the lack of medical knowledge at the time, it's challenging to identify the exact pathogen responsible. The Black Death, Bubonic Plague The origin of the Black Death is believed to be Central Asia, from where it spread along trade routes. The bacteria Yersinia pestis was primarily transmitted through fleas that infested rats. Fleas, which infested black rats, served as the primary vectors of the plague. The rats were widespread in medieval European cities, and as humans and rats lived in proximity, the fleas could easily transfer the bacteria to humans through bites. The symptoms of the bubonic plague included the sudden onset of fever, chills, weakness, and swollen and painful lymph nodes. In severe cases, the infection could progress to the lungs, causing a more contagious form known as pneumonic plague. The Black Death spread rapidly across Europe, reaching the continent in the mid-14th century. Ports and trade routes facilitated the movement of infected rats and fleas, contributing to the widespread dissemination of the disease. During the outbreak, various medical theories and treatments were proposed, though none proved entirely effective. Quarantine measures and attempts to control the spread of the disease were implemented in some regions. Smallpox and Vaccination Smallpox is a highly contagious and often deadly disease caused by the variola virus. It manifests with a characteristic rash, fever, and fluid-filled blisters on the skin. Smallpox has been a significant threat to human health for centuries, causing widespread outbreaks and high mortality rates. Edward Jenner, an English physician, developed the smallpox vaccine in 1796. He observed that milkmaids who had been infected with cowpox, a related virus, seemed immune to smallpox. Jenner hypothesized that exposure to cowpox could protect against smallpox. He tested his theory by inoculating a boy with material from a cowpox sore and later exposing him to smallpox, proving successful. Jenner's discovery laid the foundation for vaccination, a term derived from the Latin word vacca, meaning cow. The smallpox vaccine was the first successful vaccine in history. Over time, vaccination efforts expanded globally, leading to the establishment of immunization programs. In 1967, the World Health Organization, WHO, initiated a global campaign to eradicate smallpox. The strategy involved mass vaccination programs, surveillance, and the isolation of infected individuals. The last known natural case of smallpox occurred in Somalia in 1977. Smallpox vaccination is no longer routinely administered since the disease has been eradicated. However, small amounts of the virus are kept in secure laboratories for research purposes. The cholera outbreaks. Cholera, a waterborne disease caused by the Vibrio cholerae bacterium, has been a recurrent challenge throughout history, particularly in the 19th century. Cholera is characterized by severe diarrhea and dehydration, leading to rapid and potentially fatal consequences if left untreated. The bacterium is typically spread through contaminated water or food. Notable outbreaks occurred in Europe, Asia, and North America during this period. In the mid-19th century, the British physician John Snow conducted pioneering work in mapping cholera cases during the 1854 Broad Street cholera outbreak in London. His investigations revealed a concentration of cases around a contaminated public water pump, highlighting the connection between contaminated water sources and cholera transmission. The understanding of cholera transmission spurred advancements in sanitation and public health measures. Improved sewage systems, 
access to clean water, and the development of water treatment methods became critical in preventing and controlling cholera outbreaks. While significant progress has been made in preventing and treating cholera, the disease continues to pose a threat in regions with inadequate sanitation and water infrastructure. The Spanish Flu of 1918 The Spanish Flu of 1918, also known as the 1918 influenza pandemic, was a global health crisis that had profound social and economic consequences. The Spanish Flu is believed to have originated in birds and mutated to affect humans. It spread rapidly, exacerbated by the movement of troops during World War I. Despite its name, the pandemic did not necessarily begin in Spain. Rather, Spain was one of the few countries openly reporting cases due to its neutral stance in the war. The 1918 influenza strain was unusually virulent, affecting a large portion of the global population. It overwhelmed healthcare systems, leading to shortages of medical personnel and resources. Social infrastructure was strained as schools, businesses, and public gatherings shut down to contain the spread. During this period, medical understanding of viruses and the immune system was limited. Quarantine and isolation were essential measures to control the spread of the virus. Typhoid Fever and Mary Mallon The case of Mary Mallon, also known as Typhoid Mary, is a notable episode in the early 20th century related to the unintentional spread of typhoid fever. Typhoid fever is a bacterial infection caused by Salmonella typhi. It is transmitted through contaminated food or water and can lead to high fever, abdominal pain, and gastrointestinal symptoms. Mary Mallon was an Irish immigrant and a cook who worked in various households in the New York City area during the early 1900s. Despite appearing healthy, she was a carrier of the typhoid bacteria, meaning she could spread the disease without showing symptoms. Mary Mallon inadvertently spread typhoid fever to multiple households where she worked as a cook. Through her food preparation and handling, she transmitted the bacteria to those she served. In 1906, a sanitary engineer named George Soper investigated an outbreak of typhoid fever in a household where Mary Mallon had worked. He identified Mary as a carrier of the bacteria. Mary was subsequently located and tested positive for Salmonella typhi. Mary Mallon was initially unwilling to accept that she carried the disease. Public health officials took measures to isolate her, and she was placed under quarantine. Despite her lack of symptoms, Mary was considered a carrier capable of spreading the infection. She was placed in isolation on North Brother Island in New York. She resisted being kept in quarantine and argued against the actions taken against her. Legal battles ensued as Mary fought against the restrictions placed on her. After several years in quarantine, Mary Mallon was released with the condition that she would not work as a cook. She later resumed working under various aliases, and her activities led to additional outbreaks. Malaria and Global Health Efforts Malaria is a mosquito-borne infectious disease caused by parasites of the Plasmodium genus. It has a long history of affecting human populations, particularly in Africa, Asia, and the Americas. This life-threatening disease is most prevalent in tropical and subtropical regions where the Anopheles mosquito thrives. Sub-Saharan Africa carries a disproportionate burden, with the majority of global malaria cases and deaths occurring in this region. Malaria control and prevention strategies include the use of insecticide-treated bed nets, indoor residual spraying, and anti-malarial medications. The World Health Organization, WAHO, and other international organizations also lead global initiatives to combat malaria. Substantial progress has been made in reducing malaria cases and deaths in recent years. However, challenges remain, including the emergence of drug-resistant strains, limitations in access to healthcare in some regions, and the impact of environmental and climate factors on mosquito habitats. COVID-19 Pandemic The COVID-19 pandemic, caused by the novel coronavirus SARS-CoV-2, is an ongoing global health crisis that began in late 2019 and continues to have profound consequences worldwide. The first cases of COVID-19 were identified in Wuhan, China, in late 2019. The virus quickly spread globally, leading to widespread outbreaks and eventually being declared a pandemic by the World Health Organization. In March 2020, COVID-19 primarily spreads through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes. Common symptoms include fever, cough, and shortness of breath. Although the virus can manifest with a wide range of symptoms, and some individuals may remain asymptomatic. Vaccination campaigns aim to achieve widespread immunity and reduce the severity of illness, hospitalizations, and deaths associated with the virus. 
Global efforts also focus on preparing for future pandemics by strengthening health infrastructure and surveillance systems. The idea that COVID-19 originated from eating bats is a common misconception and a source of misinformation. While it is true that coronaviruses, including SARS-CoV-2, the virus responsible for COVID-19, are zoonotic, meaning they can be transmitted between animals and humans. The specific origins of the virus are still under investigation. The initial cases of COVID-19 were linked to a seafood market in Wuhan, China, where live wild animals were also sold. However, the exact source and intermediate hosts of the virus are yet to be conclusively identified. So, we're wrapping up our trip through some seriously tough times in history. From the scary days of the Black Death to more recent battles with the Spanish flu and COVID-19, people have faced some real tough stuff. But hey, we've always bounced back. Understanding how we got through it in the past helps us figure out how to tackle the challenges of today and tomorrow. Stay strong, peeps, and see you on our next videos.